Simon, Notts County at the home tomorrow. A very tricky game on paper. They got a fantastic result in the week and obviously a, a squad that will be hoping to get promoted. Yeah, you know, um, big club in this level certainly. Um, and not had it all their own way this year, uh, certainly of late. I think one win in the last six, and you're right, it was a good game uh, against Sutton on, on Tuesday. I watched that and was uh, was a good game from good performance from both teams, and they won it late. So, listen, they'll come here full of uh, vigour, you know, and hoping for them to pick another uh, three points up. Our job, you know, is to continue our good run. You know, we've we, uh, had a great performance, um, very resolute on Monday. I uh, was really pleased with that boys have been back in, we've trained well this week, so we approach the game in, in good form and, you know, it'll be a good test for us. It makes a third game in, in seven days, it doesn't really get easy at this time of, of the season. Fitness-wise, how do we sort of deal with that? It's such a hectic schedule at the moment. Yeah, it is, um, and we're quite light on numbers, but, you know, we've We've not done loads of training as such. We've done a lot of classroom stuff this week. Um, we had a good session yesterday and a really light session today. But yeah, we've, we've covered all the bases. We know uh, the strengths of Knox County, certainly. Uh, and we know how we can try and counteract them. So we're looking for a, a really interesting game and a really good test for us. On Monday at Weymouth, we spoke about it post-match. We created numerous amount of chances, took the took a couple of them, could have had a couple more had it not been for a really good performance from the way with keeper. Is, is it about being clinical when the chances present themselves tomorrow afternoon? Yeah, certainly. Um, you know, we probably won't have as many chances, certainly I don't think against Notts County. Um, but it'd be a different game, you know, a team that are desperate for the win. You know, they really need to push on for a win to keep their playoff hopes alive. Um, and I think looking at the fixtures, they've got some uh, big games certainly post us as well, you know, so every game will be big for them and they'll be desperate for three points, so we're hoping to be um, nice and competitive and put a good test up against them. Can we use that to our advantage in, in some ways? Because there is a lot of pressure on a team like Notts County to bounce back to the Football League. They're, they've had that difficult run of form, they'll be expecting well, certainly their fans may well be expecting that they'll come here and win. If we can keep ourselves, A, in the game and B, causing problems like we know we can, can we use the whole thing to our advantage? Yeah, you'd think so. I mean, I don't think uh, the manager there obviously would have done his homework. He'd have seen where we are and what we're about, you know, so we know that on our day we can be a test um, for everyone. I'm sure he would have probably watched our game against Sutton. Um, whether in preparation of, for tomorrow or in preview for their Sutton game. So, you know, you'll see how, how, how we work and what we're, our strengths and weaknesses are, you know, and obviously you'll have a game plan to do that. Our job doesn't change, you know. We, we have to be competitive, we have to be hard working, we have to uh, be organised and we won't come away from that. Sam Beard picked up a knock last Saturday. I, do, I think he said 10 days or so, I assume that would probably rule him out for tomorrow. How's he getting on? Yeah, he's getting on great, uh, doing really well. We can really step his rehab up um, after the scan results. Um, so, yeah, I think the plan is at the moment for an Easter game. Uh, he should be available for the Easter game. So, yeah, good progress with him. Um, some tired bodies in the squad, so we're looking really to pick the freshest um, team we can for um, tomorrow. Notts obviously has some very dangerous players all over the field, but particularly in attack when you look at the likes of Wooten, Ruben Rodriguez obviously putting a, a really good performance to them on in midweek. What's the onus on trying to stop them or are you more focused on, on what we can do ourselves? Yeah, listen, obviously you've got to stop them. They carry lots of fresh, you know, um, huge amount of players, you know, lots of different options. They've got boys who can run. They've got boys who can play as target men. I watched them at Woking um, not long ago. Played two, two up, took them off and put two runners on because the game dictated that uh, and changed their point of attack brilliantly. So, you know, they've got loads and loads of options. Um, 
So we have been mindful of that. You know, Rodriguez likes to operate in them spaces between the lines, and and we're wary of that. And we know everything we've got to do to try and counteract that. But as you say, we've got to carry a threat ourselves. Monday saw Ben Nugent come in from the start in, in place of Matt Preston. Tommy obviously mm -hmm. replaced Courtney. I know we have a smaller squad, but. With their performances, does that sort of cause a, a tiny bit of a selection headache? Um, not really, not really. I mean, as I said to them all at the start, you know, when your gun goes, you've got to be ready to run your race. Now, how they train will dictate how they perform, you know, and both of them have been excellent. Their attitude to training has been good, you know, when they've got their chance in the team, you know, they've both taken it. So. You know, credit to them and credit to their professionalism and their attitude. So yeah, we've got we've got to pick a team that we feel will will be best suited to to counteract Knox County strengths and, and obviously carry a threat ourselves. So yeah, they're they're both in contention for the game. Tomorrow may well be the last game we play at the hive behind closed doors, with the hope of having fans back for yeah. the main head game, the Sutton game. That must be a real exciting thought on your mind that we're going to finish potentially with our, our fans in the stadium, particularly with the way we're going at the moment as well, with terms of form. Yeah, listen, you know, I've watched games all season, whether it be in a recruitment role uh, or being back involved in the managerial role, and it is really poor without fans, <laughs> you know. I've sat in some big stands with five people in, freezing cold, um, watching games and it is, and most of them become poor games because of lack of fans. I think you find that games lull, they take lulls during periods of time where you know, if supporters in they wouldn't allow that and they would push for extra effort but at times since both teams can sort of relax um, so I for one I can't wait to play certainly certainly play in front of the Barnet fans um, and you know, I've always been one. I love going away from one. You know, I can't wait to go to Torquay and hopefully they got fans in and, you know, they're booing us and, and stuff like that. That sort of stuff's brilliant and that's why you're involved, you know. You go away from home against the odds and uh, and upset a few people and, you know, we always look forward to that. Those, that game tomorrow is our last home game for three, uh, three consecutive away games yeah. in VC, so you're talking three tough places to go. Yeah. With the view in mind that our last two will be at home, is it about trying to build a tiny bit of momentum before those games? Yeah, we spoke this morning, you know, that we've, uh, we had a good win, all the shot at home, we had a poor performance and a defeat, Dagenham, we bounced back from that away at Weymouth, we need to bounce now back again uh, with a home performance that we're, we're proud of, you know, we can't make it easy for teams to come here and, and get three points and Dagenham took them far too easy for my liking. So, yeah, we've got, to, we've got to get our home form on track and like I say, if you're going to be a successful team, certainly in this league, uh, your home form needs to be good and, and we want to be a successful team, so it's something we're looking to improve.